how to install Shofi. That's e-commerce and multi vendor marketplace live platform script. So I will be using code list for this testing purposes. So let me go straight to my code list. So code list or CC. Then yes, I click on my search button and search what I'm looking for. Shofi. Okay. Let me come here to copy it. Control copy. Control paste. Then enter. Here is the script. I click on it. Then next, I scroll down to select the link I will use in downloading the script. But don't forget, I'm using codes just for testing purposes. Use links in use link in description to purchase the script. Control copy, control the paste, then I click on enter. So here is it. I can now download. I click on download to download the script. But I have already downloaded the script before, so I don't need to download. So let me just close it. I go to my yes here is the script that I downloaded then I extracted it here is the extracted file so let me open it so I have the script here I rename it to the multi vendor so and I zip it here is the zip file let me just show you when I open it, these are the files. So this script, this zip file is what I will send to my C panel. So let me go straight to my C panel. So for my C panel, I go to file manager. Here's my C panel. I go to file manager. Just shut down. Okay, this is my file manager. Then I go to my subdomain. Here is the subdomain I'm using. I click on it as you can see I have this the file here is the zip file which I have uploaded this multivendor this is it that I have uploaded here then I extracted it here are the extracted files so that be done let me go to my database next my database I want to create my database so I come here my SQL data. so let me name my database as edu01 create database next I click on go back I've created my database then next I'm going to create my user so let me move down to put my user. So my user, let me name it as zero one. Okay, my password. Then I quit user. Next, I click on go back again. I have created the database. I have created the user. Then next, I'm going to add the user to the database. Okay, add the user to the database. I will make sure I select the one I just created. Here is it. Then I add. I will give all privileges then I scroll down to make changes that being done so next I now go to my site zero 
one. Enter. Let's go. So I still down. Configured environment. Yeah, let me see what is, let me see Shofi. Shofi. Okay. Okay. Data base name. I use Okay, sorry. I do. That's my data business. My username. Yes, yeah, it's it. And I click on install. So it's as choosing this one as default, then I click on next. Although I can select any other one. But I'm satisfied with that. First name, let me say this. Last name, let me say this. User name. Let me say admin. Email. Let me say admin as example. Then I quit. I close this. Don't forget, this is for testing purposes. Please use link in description to get the link to download the video. To download it please activate lightning so installation finished go to admin dashboard okay here is the admin dashboard i cannot go to anywhere from this part get started no, let me just close it. Why should you want to exit? Yes, I will finish it later. So, for me, I can go to anywhere. Report, orders. I can go to anywhere from here. Here's my dashboard. Thank you, thank you, thank you for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe to my videos. If, this, if you find this video helpful, use link in the description to buy me coffee.